Hey Dino fans, how are we going? It's Mr. A2G. We are back playing some more Durango Wildlife. How are you going guys? Alrighty, so you guys enjoyed the last couple of videos that I put out last week um, of this game. So guess what? We're going to do some more gameplay of this. Uh, more let's play of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy more of this game. So if you guys are new to the channel, discover this game in particular, uh, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell just so you don't miss out on any future videos. Along with that, if you did like the video, make sure you hit, drop a like on that little button there. Uh, just let me know exactly if you guys really enjoyed it or not or if you are actively enjoying it all that sort of good stuff But with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and accept the new mission here. So from the communication center uh, So we're gonna do a bit of a gathering. We'll see what that one's all about And let's go ahead and accept it here. So we need to do some boulder gathering. Okay, so Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you're the first survivor to visit the safe house and you won't be the last. Uh, not at the rate they've been appearing recently. If we are going to keep this place running, we need some construction materials. Could you go to the place I told you about and fetch me some boulders? Don't forget to bring the picks out, uh, sorry, pickaxe I've given you. So let's do that. That's in progress. And let's go ahead and do that so gather boulders let's go to the target area and if we have a quick look over there um so it looks like that's going to be the boulder quarry so that's where we go, where we're about to go now um in regards to the actual area itself i just did some off camera work and i had a look around of the um, natural area and uh, um basically it's a complete safe zone so if you guys that are wanting to start out as well just know as soon as you get to here you guys are going to be completely fine um, there's not going to be any sort of intimate enemy um, attack or anything like that all the dinos that you will see here will be uh, completely tame you're not going to worry about any sort of um, you know attack or anything like that as you can see I can just stand here freely and I won't have an issue you know I could even have a drink of water uh, clean myself up all that sort of good stuff and you don't need to worry about um, any sort of you know um, uh, impending attacks so uh, not to worry with that at all anyway we'll continue on we'll move around and I was sort of working out the little mechanics and quirks of the game as well so you know starting to get a little bit more used to this as well at the same time so which is a good thing uh, also guys let me know uh, in the comments um, is the audio levels a little bit better than what it was in the last couple of videos didn't anticipate this game to be so uh, loud at the beginning so I had to muck around with that and yes yeah, so um, that was yeah, a bit of an annoyance but I do apologize for that guys because I did the videos back to back so I wouldn't have known so now that I do hopefully this is all rectified all right so we're at the target area now uh, got to obtain uh, level one or higher stone chunks. Um, so, all right. And I'm guessing they're probably the boulders I need to look at. Okay. So let's, um, yep. So we've done that. Okay. I'm going to deliver that to the drop off point. All right. I'm just going to take a couple more anyway, just in case. And the cool thing with this as well, um, what I worked out with the combat system and the the uh, sorry the harvesting system. So if you tap onto these guys here, you notice that they've got um, boulder and pebble here for this example. But if you double tap, it will automatically actually do it twice for you. So you don't have to tap once, wait for it, tap again and wait for it kind of thing. It'll just continuously do it for you until it stops. And then you can decide, okay, do I want to take more or do I, do I want to just leave it? So yeah, you can do either either, which is good. Um, I just thought I'd just bring that up, especially if you guys are following my series in particular and you want to know a little bit more about the game. I am learning this actively as well at the same time. So um, I may not know um, things that you guys might know or if you guys have already gone ahead of me, um, you know, let me know of your experiences there. Uh, don't obviously leave too much um, in, in the ways of spoilers or anything like that. So um, any little bit of information that might be helpful though, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. I know you guys are pretty active with this game, so that's why we're doing a little bit more with it. So yeah, anyway, let us drop off some of these here. Uh, so we'll drop off, oh, click into that of course. 
Uh, so it's just fill auto. So we're just going to insert and mission complete. Very good. And we've got a few little other bits and pieces for our troubles. Our interactions may be limited by this radio, but I know you're a disciplined worker. We could <laughs> thanks use very much. more of that in this world. Much more. Well, thanks, buddy. Hey, I've been developing a special curriculum at Radio University. All it lacks is a pupil to test it. What do you say? Are you up to the task? Well, of course we are. Sorry, Lamar, but could you please save your sales pitch until after we leave the safe house? <laughs> Fair enough. I mustn't rush you. Everything in its own time, after all. We'll be able to talk at our leisure once you reach a tamed island. And okay. don't worry, I'll wait. Being a great teacher means very little if you are not blessed with a great student. Okay. Boy, he sure loves <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Let's wrap this up before he starts quoting Shakespeare at us. If you want to be a real pioneer, you gotta dress the part. Time to play Taylor. Go to the. Okay, so I actually already did some of that as well. Um, as you can see with my player outfit here, I've actually went ahead and got some, uh, you know, uh, leaves and uh, and things like that. And I actually pre-crafted all of those because I was just mucking around with it. But it looks like that's going to be part of the um, <laughs> the mission itself. So I don't know if it's going to auto-complete it for me. That I'm not sure. I'm assuming I'm going to have to, um, you know, probably craft some more up, which is fine. Uh, okay, so it's easy to pick up, uh, sorry, pick out newbies in uh, Durango. You just look for the ones walking around in ripped up modern clothes. If you want to show the world how far you've come, make the leaf outfit for yourself. Don't throw away your old clothes, though they are good material for other crafting since you should have uh, a leaf or two left over for material. Bring one outfit to the drop-off point. Okay, so that's in progress. So I've already done that. So I actually ended up making it twice for whatever reason I did. I, I think I thought I actually had um, uh, crafted uh, one Ready side the of the outfit. Try it on. See how it fits. Yeah, so I thought I, um, I thought I was doing the foot wraps and then I ended up making um, the, the actual bottom way. part more. So anyway. In fact, I think you're ready to head out on your own. Okay, here we go. Now, I can't have you claiming land on company property, but you can put down roots with a domain on a tamed island. Okay, so we're going to go to the tamed island. Thing or just a raft right away. Or an amazing hot air balloon right away. Okay. I'd be happy to help you out, but I don't have any fuel. Let's remedy that. You have to make sure it burns nice and hot, so tell me, <coughs> what kind of fuel are you going to get? Okay. Um, I don't know. Well, it's probably going to be either a leaf or a branch. I'm just going to say leaf. Branches, leaves, stalks, mm. logs. Yep, that'll do the trick. Cool. Okay. So let's go over to our communication center here. Accept the mission. Okay, the hot air balloon makes uh, getting to a tamed island uh, a cinch. One problem though, their construction is a bit more ex on the expensive side. We need, or well, sorry, we're prepared to front the cost, but why not pay for it uh, to forward the pioneers who come with you? Just donate some firewood, that includes things like logs and branches, anything that'll burn really. Okay. So, uh, okay. I've, looks like I've already got the materials here, which is always a good thing. And all right, so let's just fill automatically and we'll just insert those. I think that's actually to the hot air balloon and go find a tamed island to call your home. Lamar and I will be in touch. <laughs> you know, I read a lot of books. I wish I had some kind of quote to send you off. How about explore, dream, discover? Anyways. The hot air balloon is waiting where we met before. And <coughs> good luck. Okay. Sorry, so what I was saying, um, yeah, basically from everything that I've done so far, just sort of uh, mucking around, just sort of getting a feel for the game, kind of sort of already, you know, pre-got a lot of the mat uh, materials and items and things like that. So, um, yeah, so... 
a lot of the um, little pre-missions or the tutorials and all that sort of stuff sort of blitzed it I guess um, but otherwise what we're going to be doing now is um, we are find, we're going to find the hot air balloon on the beach which I believe it's over this way um, you know what always freaks me out when I see because I think it's a dinosaur for some reason the way that it appears on screen but yeah so it looks like we're going to find our own part of the island to, t um, to call our own home uh, by the sounds of things it is a tamed area so hopefully we should be okay but we'll, we'll see how we go Ooh. did not discover this part of the um, map which is fine okay so it's on the beach so if I follow the beach line I'm pretty sure it's close around here if I'm not mistaken if not I'm it's got to be in the other direction but um, I think Think we are in the right area now a cool little thing as well is if you hit the, um, the exploration button there um, the the two um, little swords here expands the screen out a little bit as well so you can actually still run around as well which is a cool thing cool neat little feature and I am going in the wrong direction which I've only just realized and noticed that so don't hate me for that guys um, but it's a good point to sort of have a look anyway um, just sort of run around and especially if you're just sort of you know wanting to get a bit of an overview of the area itself um, this actually works quite well so yeah here we go and we are getting our way over here and okay so I've got to accept the mission do I? I thought I did hang on hello accept the mission I thought I did I did okay anyway okay so hot air balloon let's go let's see what is uh, oh, okay she's gonna go around the other side don't I okay. where is this hot air balloon ah there you are okay and let's go to the tamed island let's leave Okay, get your own tame island. Okay, so there's a few things that we can look at here. So, I don't know. I want something obviously that we can sort of build on a nice sort of area. Um, let's do the second one. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Not knowing exactly what we're getting ourselves into, but let's just dive right in. Okay. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. Okay. So that was basically, I reckon, the, the tutorial of the game. Now we have our actual own, you know, destination. So let's, okay. Yeah, you got the new tame island without a hitch. Um, I, I know you lost a lot, but you've gained much more. You won't always feel like that way. Uh, Durango's a tough place to live. What's more, uh, forgetting your old home is nigh impossible. My life goes on. Radio University will help you see to that. As of you, the hot air balloon is the pinnacle of the Durangan travel. And your domain on this tamed island will be a, a true base of operations. Look around until you spot what you like. Okay. So we can move the hot air balloon. There's a harbour nearby. Um, find a place to claim your domain yet. If a location feels right, drop down. So you can actually move around, which is kind of neat. Um, and it sort of gives you a bit of an overview, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so search for a domain location and then disembark. So I guess this way we could actually do a bit of an exploration. And hopefully 
as you can see we can sort of muck about here and just see where we want to sort of drop drop down I want to try and just find a bit of land that sort of looks fine um, obviously you don't want to drop into somewhere where you're just gonna either be relentlessly attacked or anything like that so obviously we don't want any of that but it just serves a good purpose just to sort of you know whisk around have a bit of a squeeze and yeah I mean look I'm assuming that we're gonna just obviously um, explore the whole area as well you know in our own time just hopefully get a bit of an overview later on I just want to sort of get a perimeter base just to see what I'm sort of looking at there as well so it just sort of helps there and then I'll probably fill in the blacks uh, sorry the blanks um, off camera so but it doesn't appear that you see any sort of dinosaurs or anything like that here and you know that might be just because you're in the hot air balloon type of thing um, or there's realistically nothing here for you to sort of you know uh, tame or kill but we'll find out anyway in due course which I'm sure I would but so far pretty big area but anyway I'm not going to sort of keep going with that I'm just going to find an area we're going to drop down and we're going to call home so I want to probably do it closer to the port maybe which is on the other side so let's just go back down At least I've got a bit of an idea of the area as well, which is sort of mapped out for me. Okay, how far are we now? Okay, so we're not that far away now. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, sorry, the cough just doesn't want to go away. Okay, so I'm probably going to drop down here. Once you disembark from the hot air balloon, you cannot board it again. Do you want to get off at this location? Sure. Let's just go ahead and do that. So at least you guys have got a bit of an idea of what, what my um, tamed area is, which is awesome. So unfortunately I cannot go back onto that anymore. So let's go to our domain. Uh, you can declare the domain um, on your tamed island. So let's declare, drop, perfect. How much land does a man need? Okay, so this land belongs to you now. No matter how far you roam, you can always return to this spot. Tame islands are actually pretty special. Maintenance cost, building durability, none of that matters here. I know that the people of Durango likes to blame everything on the warp, but it seems there's an actual connection this time. Still, these tame islands aren't without their drawbacks. For starters, they're a little short they are in the natural resources department. Okay. So, do not replenish. Okay, I imagine Cave supplied you with ample material. Um, after the safe house, perhaps you could make use of it to finish your domain. A makeshift tent would be a good start. Maybe a road sign as well. Road signs add personal touch to your domain. They let you show other pioneers who you truly are. Okay. Alright, well. So, we're going to obviously do that. Okay, so craft and build, let's go installation, road sign, construction, I'm just going to leave it right there, okay, and we need wood pillar, wood pillar, stick shape, one and two, construct, okay, so that's going to build up sooner. Uh, Darcy has to do the instant completion. Okay, so we can wait, you know, for a little second here or there. Is there anything that we can build here, like the rest shelter? So it looks like a makeshift tent will be the next thing we'll be making as well. And it's saying that we can do the instant thing. So at the cost of a gem, you know what? Let's wait the 30 seconds, let it do its thing. And, um, and then we'll save those gems for other things as well. So we'll definitely um, wait it out. I mean, only 15 seconds away. Assuming the next thing that we're gonna need to do is build up the, um, the makeshift tent as well. So we've got like a, a save point or a drop point. Um, or if we go out somewhere and we don't make it back, then obviously that's our, our respawn point. So that's done. 
So we can go ahead and tap that and complete it. Perfect. So tap the right sign to write or draw whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to put in greetings. We're just going to leave it like that. Yep. Greetings. Okay, well that looks weird. Anyway. So let's build a makeshift tent. So let's go to craft and build. Let's construct this guy and we'll just put it just there for now. And let's just do the autofill. I re actually really like that feature. The autofill is awesome. If you've got the materials there, why not make it? Okay, a domain is complete without a shelter. Even a makeshift tent will do. What's more, you can set it as your waypoint. Uh, now I guess what you're thinking, domains, waypoints, uh, what's the difference? Uh, let me explain the differences, but why not? Domain is your own personal territory. Respecting those boundaries is one of the few laws pioneers hold sacred. Sure, you can give other pioneers permission to use your property, but in the end, that land belongs to one person alone. A waypoint is a whole different creature. You can choose to live on someone else's land if you have uh, permission. In fact, many people choose to share the same space. That's cool. If you're ever exploring an area far away from your domain, you can set a waypoint so you have somewhere to go back to. But those lessons will have to wait uh, for when you become a true pioneer. For now, let's focus on completing a makeshift tent in your domain. Fair enough. So let's go ahead and complete that, which is done. Alrighty, guys. That looks to be designated waypoint, perfect. And we've pretty much got that sorted. Okay, there's no government here to protect the domains. However, uh, there, sorry, uh, there is, however, something called a Pioneer Accord. Uh, truth be told, the Accord isn't written, um, isn't a written document, but a common unspoken commitment. It's a, an agreement to respect one another's domain. Spectacular, isn't it? Both capitalism and democracy are alive and well in Durango. You're on your way of becoming a true pioneer. I'll send you a transmission when it's time for your next lesson. Radio, Radio University needs talented people like you. Aren't you curious about the curricula, if, if I pronounce that correctly? Anyway, for now, guys, I think we're going to leave it here for today. For this video here, I'm going to be making another video back to back. So um, we're going to be pretty much uh, picking up where we left off. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you've liked the video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.